Howdy, folks. Oh, no, put the knife down. You're not safe with a knife. You're not safe. Well, I, I thought I was. No, it's no, it's got a rubber tip on it. You're highly dangerous. <laughs> well, it's one of those city knives. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> here in our fair city in the it's south. A chef's uh, knife. They have, uh, they have uh, what is those things that, that snow plows with yes. rubber on uh -huh. them? So they've got rubber tipped snow plows. Uh -huh. Re they're real cute, up to date and fast. And they don't do worth a diddly. Diddly. They well, really don't. Anyway, that's anyway. Hey, what are we going to do today? I thought I'd go home and take a little nap. Well, it's been a long yeah, I heard day. some people saying you were so crabby today you needed what? A little I nap. Have you not can get been. down on your blanket and take a little nap now while we're I starting this show. I have been exceptionally kind you today. Actually, I actually passed by a dog on the way into the studio today and, and was real kind and sweet to it and patted it on the nose and gave it a dog biscuit. Well, you know, funny, last night I was riding along in the car and a cat ran across the road and somebody said, oh, don't hit it. I said, I hate cats, but I wouldn't hit one. I know you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't hit one. I'm not a cat You fancier. would do other things to it, but uh, I know <laughs> you wouldn't hit it. <laughs> well, I think, I'm not sure, but I believe my cat sustained cigarette burns last time he was out of my oh, house. Oh, no. And he doesn't even uh, smoke. Uh, and I and don't, I don't anywhere either. near I know. We're and just I kidding. Like We're just cat. kidding. That, we both love cat animals. Okay. Don't want to hear no more about it. That's but anyway. Right. Let's get the witch in and find out what we need to do. Want to see my buns? Today. Oh, no. Put oh. those down. Okay. All right. How, and no, nobody wants to see them because... Every, well, never mind. Well, I, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, are you all right, honey? Six well, points. <laughs> he gets six points for that. Read the letter. Jim, Jim's getting better. You know that could be an interesting contest. Uh -huh. Maybe you've started something, Jim, up there in the rafters. We'll set something up and we'll give him a prize every time yes. he knocks it down with a witch. Uh -oh. We'll have to think about that one, dear boys. Marvin killed a hog last week when his old truck got loose from him and run right up in the pig pen. Oh, oh that's no, so terrible, terrible when that happens. Good thing he didn't hit old big boy because that hog would have opened up the door and stomped Marvin for a fare of the well. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, have y'all got something good for some pork and a side dish? Thanks kindly. Lula High Bottoms. Oinks Creek, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lula. I think I just got tickled. Huh? <laughs> today's high bottoms, isn't that? High bottoms. That's uh, a great name. Uh -huh. it, today's your lucky day, girl, because we have got, uh, Larry's got pork over there, <laughs> and I'm, I've got uh, a cabbage dish that is bizarre. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Stop about. laughing. What, what is yours? Uh, and who I'll, did it? Who's I, responsible? I for have it? Uh, Uncle Wang's. No, that's no, yours. No, that's uh, excuse mine. me, I was reading the wrong one. <clears throat> Barbara Q, as they call it here in Southwest uh -huh. Virginia. Barbara Q, they call it. It's actually barbecue sent in by Shirley Clark of Barron's Springs, Virginia. Where's Barron Springs? I don't know. I really don't. Where with, is count, it? with County. With County. Oh, way down the southern part of the state. Oh, yeah. With County. The, the home place of Mrs. Woodrow Wilson. Now, who but you would know that? Well, I mean, you know, what can I say? I mean, she was born there. Okay. Right over where the restaurant used and to be. And perhaps she'll die there. It makes the ham biscuits. They're real good. I wish I could remember the name of it. Anyway, I'm doing, and this is from Kermit Salyer, Jr. We all know Kermit. His daddy used to run the newspaper in Franklin County, and Kermit has sent in Uncle Wang's red cabbage thing. <laughs> That's what it says. So it's a red cabbage dish, and I'm going to cook it up right here. And first, you start with some hot oil and a couple of teaspoons of garlic. Hot smoking sassafras. Remember that can... song? Uh huh. Hot smoking sassafras. That ought to be enough. hundred dollars to yeah. the staff member that can tell me who did that song. Jim, you're old enough to know. Jim. Jim, you're old enough to know that. Who did hot smoking sassafras? Well, he doesn't know. Woo! Hundred bucks. I'll give you a hundred oh, bucks. Lordy. The garlic is popping like popcorn. You want me to answer? Oh! <laughs> it popped in my eye. Oh no, don't tell me. I got a cry. I have to answer this. I have to answer this. It was done by a group called Bubble Puppy. It was the only song they ever had. Bubble puppy. Am I good? Am I good or what? Why was it disc jockey for 30 years? I know this stuff. Bubble puppy. Want to see my buns? <laughs> no, we've been through that Sesame once. Street ones. You want to make ones. me say it? Sesame Street ones. Myself. Sesame Street We've ones. all seen them, so just. <laughs> Boy, that smells good. Yeah, garlic always does, but you got to take it out after it 
before it gets real brown. Anyway, so you start with some oil and two cloves of garlic that have been mashed. Then you're going to put in some catch, uh, cabbage cut in one inch pieces. So go Which ahead, Blake. Sounds like a right exact thing to me. Well, it is kind of a sign. Well, the barbecue, I got to tell you, I, I was a little skeptical about this <laughs> barbecue recipe when I started it seven or eight days ago. <laughs> but I believe that really it appears to be a wonderful recipe. It smells marvelous. My home yesterday, ooh, just, oh, wonderful. Uh, the first thing you got to do is get yourself two to three pounds of pork loin roast, which I did. And, I, and you could also, if you don't like pork, and I don't know why you wouldn't, but some, perhaps some people don't, and that's, you know, maybe you get whatever's cheap at the time. You could also do this with uh, chicken or venison, if you like. <laughs> So anyway, I have about a two pound pork loin roast. And what you do is you just boil that thing until you think you can't boil it no more. And then you turn around and boil it some more. And then just about the time you're ready to take it off, you just boil it some more. And this goes on for most of the day, about four or five hours, wouldn't you say, Doris? About four or five hours, more than that if you want to, because what you have to do is you have to get this stuff to the point where you can just tear it apart. Pull it is what they call it down in, and that is the chicken, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> pull it. Anyway, you got to be able to pull it apart with your little hands. I discovered yesterday evening I'd done such a fabulous job of boiling this, possibly five or six days I boiled it. Uh, I'm just joking. Uh, that actually I could take a fork and pull it apart. Didn't have to put well, my Well, did it have any flavor left in it? Oh, of course. It, well, I'll tell you why it has some flavor left in it. I'm glad you asked that question, Mr. Right. Johnson, because you take a cup and a half of the juice oh. uh, of the, uh, what do you call it? Not juice. Help me. Help Broth. Me. Broth. Doris just isn't any help at all today. You know, I've, I've noticed, well, you know. <laughs> I think she's on oh, the she's sauce. Still, oh, she's still got her little brace on. But she had Harold in a headlock and hurt her wrist. <laughs> he did, she had Harold taking him around the studio, butting his head into the wall. It was not a pretty sight. But anyway, you take a cup and a half of the broth and put it back uh -huh. into the barbecue. Oh. So you get all the flavor captured right in there. It's wonderful. So anyway, what you do now is you take this out after it's real done, and you take it over and put it on to, uh, you know, your, your cutting board or whatever. And what you're going to do at this point is start pulling it apart. And watch this. I say watch this. All uh, right, I'm watching. <laughs> watch it real carefully. See, all you do, you don't even have to get your fingers on it. You can also eliminate uh, any fat that may be, oh, this is a very lean piece. There's no fat on it whatsoever, just a little bit on the end there, and you can get rid of that. But you see that? See how you can just pull that off of there? Now, down in North Carolina, they would actually take their fingers and do that. But I just don't think it's necessary. I mean, I have boiled it long that, enough. That's cooked. called pulling, pulling. It. Well, or picking. Can you pick it also? Mm -hmm. Well, don't I'd pick it pull. too hard; it won't heal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's an old Please. joke. Yuck. But anyway, see, and what you're doing is just shredding that up real nice. Isn't that wonderful? Aren't you impressed, Miss Doris? I know I am. And see, any little fat that you got like that, little globules of fat, just get rid of that. Throw that you over know, Doris, on I re finally remembered. It's ropa viejo. That's right, ropa. That's, that was the that dish stands we for did Spanish one ropes for old clothes. Old clothes, Spanish so ropes. They look raggedy. And we did that <laughs> recipe many years ago yes, on the show. Did. You remember that? It's the same thing that you do with when you're pulling your pork barbecue. It's <laughs> ropas viejo. Uh huh. It's true. Well, anyway, that's this is all I'm going to do for a little while, and then I'll show you how to assemble this. Now, really and truly, you do have to slow cook this all afternoon. But it is well worth it, and you can use venison or chicken if you want to, as long as you can tear it up, and you don't even have to get your fingers on it if you do a real good job like Uncle Lair has done. As you can see, that is just beautiful. Well, Lair, Go ahead. hit it. Now, I have to, I've got, I put in an onion that I chopped too, and you need to cook it for five to seven minutes and let it uh, go like that, and then you're gonna add a quarter of a cup of golden raisins. Now, these, we're not soaked in gin. <laughs> what is the difference? Oh, for your yes, for, your, for my uh, arthritis. Arthritis. You know, I have an uncle that does that, and you go to his house, and he's got a plate full of them drying on the windowsill. Oh, I can't. Be I know the uncle too. I can't uncle, believe. Uncle. Uh, well, we better not mm -hmm. say his name because he tried to sue me one time. 
No, I'm just joking. It's my Uncle Jimmy. He's a sweet man. Oh, I thought you were talking about your Uncle Tuck. No, no, no. Uncle Tuck would throw away the raisins and, and drink keep the, the gin. gin. Right. <laughs> All right, now, this has got to go a little bit more, but you get your raisins ready to throw in after this is wilted. This What's the difference between the golden ones and the regular ones? I've always wondered. Do they taste different? I mean, I know they look different, but do they taste different? Uh, they look different. <laughs> <laughs> now, one is a white grape and one is a red oh, grape. Oh, now you see, now that's the answer. I didn't know that. I really didn't. So, I, you know, I'm not uh, real hot on all that stuff. But you know, I, I tried to be informative by asking dumb questions. Well, and, I, and you do a wonderful, no, me. you do a wonderful, I, I, you know, Well, you know, thing I, of, I did a, a people fundraiser. People just think you're dumb as... Well, they do. I did a post, but I, you're not. I did a fundraiser in Harrisonburg some time ago, and I acted real stupid and had a great time. We made tons of money for them. But some woman called up at the end of it and says, well, I doubt very seriously if that man could find Tom's Brook by the time he gets off the air. Oh. He's so stupid. I was well, just trying anyway, to have some fun. People have no sense of humor. They don't, especially when it comes to food, and I think food is funny. Oh, I do, too. You and I have laughed our way through many a all right. Food experience. Now that is beginning to, you, you got to do it until your cabbage is wilted and it comes apart. Do and, what? The hokey pokey? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank oh, don't sing that. Those people will sue you. No. Oh, Lord, that's right. Don't, well, don't I, even begin to sing that song. Well, could I possibly? Now that we have to get song clearance on Oh, that's on the right. Air, you, you mean I, I can't don't sing? Don't even mention the title and ever again. And when your love wears golden raisins, <laughs> do not. Golden raisins in your hair? I will put in the raisins. <laughs> what was that song? I've never heard that. What? Golden earrings. Golden. Oh, okay. I think we can mention the song and spoof it. Well, I am still. I think we ought to do the macarena. Pulling pork over here, or picking pork, or whatever you call it. Do the macarena. Mm-hmm. Now, well, I just don't go for those trendy dances. <laughs> they won't be around oh, it's, week. it's already out. It's already out. That's right. By the time I learn them and my sacroiliac goes out, the song's gone out. The dance has gone out. Okay. Next, with this thing, you have to add a quarter cup of sherry. How is she? Oh, she's real good. And, let me, and we have to flambe it. Beg your pardon? We have to flambe this. Hmm. Do you remember that time we went to that restaurant and the lady flambeed something with that that Bacardi, oh, that I'll Bacardi never rum? It. it was Bacardi 150 and it said right on the side of the bottle. Do not use for flambe. It says do not use over flames. The woman could have just set us a fire. Well, I can't even strike my match. Now we should have dimmed the lights for this. Well, you know, it's shoot, just we can't even do it if I if I here, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Well, you can't see it, but it's doing. Oh, it, it. is flambe. Yeah. Yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, there is some so fire I in have there. Flambe the sherry. I brought my own matches. You can't, you know, put a little cigarette lighter over in a dish. You need some wooden matches, and I always have them at home to use on my barbecue. I no. thought you'd taken up smoking. I'm glad no. you haven't. It's a hard. Boy, this is potent. Now, we got the sherry wine in there. And of course, for all you that are don't take of the fruit of the vine, don't worry, the alcohol burns off when you do that. So it just leaves the residual taste, which is mighty fine. I need something to pour that. Children, do not drink this at home. What do you need? No, oh, I'm just, I'm just looking around. Well, it just makes me nervous when you get over behind my back. I know I'm just you, looking around. I know you're doing stuff. You're looking around Is that around a new me. shirt? I see you got a tag no, on it no, there. No, no, A wash and wear. I'll just put it away for a while. All right, and let's see. Cook a minute, then add the soy sauce and the sugar, and we got to have a quarter cup of soy sauce. I think that's right much, but that's what he's calling for. Sounds like right much. But at least everything is in quarter cup. Let me know when I have a Did it get on you? <laughs> Thank you, Lady. Oh, you're welcome. I always did look good in, in Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Do we have paper towels? There's Things have towel. fallen on hard times. <laughs> and I'm going to put in three towel. tablespoons of sugar. Was that pre-measured? Uh-huh, it was. 
See, now that I'm retired, I can do all this stuff at home, and it's so much easier than bringing Well, Johnson, why don't we just take the cameras out to your place while well, we're Well, that'd at be it. nice. That way I wouldn't <laughs> have to get in the car and come over here. <laughs> okay, now here's what I need to do at this point. I need to do a little something. Goodness knows I haven't done much, but I need to do a lot. I've pulled all that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? <clears throat> Isn't that? <laughs> it's lovely. It's gorgeous. Now you return that to an empty pot. Put that in there. I think that's a mite much for the Doris, could I have size a of the pot we have. Or something. Do the best we can here. That is real pretty. I think I'd go for a little bit bigger container than that. I did at home, but it'll do for the likes of us here on this show today. And in a couple of minutes, and, and also what you do at this point is you return back into that a cup and a half of your reserve stock in which, you know, you had it all afternoon. Cup and a half, that gives you some additional flavor back in there. And I didn't make too much of a mess. Now in a couple of minutes, we will put in all of the other stuff. I'm gonna chop a big old onion and get back to Johnson here. And we'll add all of the stuff and then you cook that an additional hour and a half on top of the stove, real slow cooking. And I'll tell you all about that in about nine minutes. <laughs> well now, I'm at the stage where I need to add some cornstarch and some water, and Kermit recommended a teaspoon of each, and I don't think that's enough, so I made it a little bit more, a couple of teaspoons. I'm gonna give my recipe when you want to. All right, go ahead and do it. Can I do it now? Yeah. All right. Barbecue sent in by Shirley Clark of Barron Springs, Virginia. Two to three pounds of pork loin roast, or you can also substitute chicken or venison if you want to. A uh, 20 ounce bottle of ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. A large onion chopped, which I'm getting ready to do right now, right here, even as I speak. A uh, large onion chopped, which I'm getting ready to do right now. Oh, I'm stuck. Two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and a teaspoon of prepared mustard. I'll do all that in a couple of minutes. Go all ahead. All right. Well, that just. It's easy simple. as pie, it and, is. and this is too. Now I put the cornstarch and water in, and that thickens your sauce up so it doesn't run off and it will stay clinging. And I've turned the heat off now, and mine will be finished with the sprinkling of some sesame oil. You can find this in your local grocery store. Oh no! What's wrong? Look at this. Oh, it it's, needs a bottle opener. Oh, no. Who would expect Doris, such a silly, goofy thing? Give me your scout knife, honey. Well, maybe you should give your recipe while you're just All right, well, I will. Goofy. Let me give it. Here it is. While she's rescuing you. Uncle Wang's red cabbage thing. You need some oil for cooking, a half a head of red cabbage, a large onion, two cloves of garlic, some cooking sherry, quarter of a cup, and a quarter of a cup of soy sauce, Three tablespoons of sugar, pre-measured, a teaspoon of cornstarch, and a tablespoon of water, and I think it needs to be a little oh, bit more. A, a jar. And uh, two teaspoons of sesame oil, which you can get at your local grocery store. Okay, and two, or can I do this real yeah. quick? I, I need to add an entire big onion chopped in there. And in a couple of minutes, I'll give you all the rest of the secret ingredients into that pot. Okay. Go ahead, Johnson. And I'm just going to sprinkle just a little teeny bit of maybe a teaspoon or so of olive oil on top of that, and that's all there is to the recipe. I'm trying to stay out of your shot, but I have to do well, some Well, that's stuff. all right. If you have to get in it, you have to do it. What? Sesame oil. Sesame oil. Yeah. What'd you say? What'd I say? Olive oil, oh, you said. It's sesame. Thing. You've gotten real confused. No, it's not olive oil. It's sesame oil. Well, you I, said <laughs> olive oil. Oh, I did not. Stop that tape right now and run it back. Wind that tape back and let's look <laughs> no, at that. No, no. <laughs> what did I say? I need, uh, no, I don't need anything. Well, anyway, I think Doris needs new batteries in her hearing aid. All right, am I ready? Yep. I, can I go with this? Oh, we got to get. You got to get one. No, never mind. Go on and do it. Got to get <laughs> who knows what. We got to get big doors. old container of ketchup. That's 24 ounces. It calls for 20, but you know, a couple of ounces among friends. What's it matter? Put that in there. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. What? Two. Thank you. 
What would we do without her? I don't know. One, two. I had the same problem as you did. And two tablespoons of chili powder. Interesting recipe. Well, One just, lump or two? It is, but it just goes on and on One. and on and on and on. <laughs> two, it's coming out in lumps. Brand new. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire, I did that. One teaspoon of prepared mustard. Splotch goes in there. And two tablespoons of brown sugar also goes in there. And I got some brown sugar with me. And make those heaping. Boom. Boom. There we go. And that is the entire recipe. Now what you do is mix that around real good and put it on simmer at this point because it's very thick. You do not want it. Oh, what if Simmer doesn't want it on her? Well, you have to go with it anyway. And you will cook that very slowly on top of the stove for an hour and a half. And it is absolutely wonderful. And there it is. Now, when it's finished, it looks real pretty. And I'll just go on ahead and put some in this bowl. <laughs> Doris, I believe you've prepared the version with beans. If you want. Uh Oh, nasty. We'll very quickly want to bring those up. Oh, that's great. That's terrific. And she garnished it up real pretty. What are you trying to make us look bad, Dora? Well, look at that. She's gotten fancified well, with it. I'm retired. Excuse oh. me. <laughs> so I have time. Oh, for heaven's sake. No, but this is, uh, it says you can take the barbecue sauce, the barbecue, and mix it into beans. And that's what I did. I just mixed it in beans and baked it in the oven with a little... Uh, <clears throat> molasses and ketchup on it. And I, oh, uh, pick on me doing my fingers. Uh, <laughs> but this is a variation of it. You can have it along with that, too. You can have it and with that. And it right looks real pretty. Uh, right. Look at that. So look, Either way. Let me heat it in the microwave for you. Well, uh, Doris, we only have like a minute and a half, two minutes. Well, you have to so uh, right. just take it and put it over there. <laughs> I'm going to get over here and sit down. Actually, we have three minutes, and that's plenty of time for me. I'd just be shuffling right over here. Of course, right you know here. I just love beans, so. <sighs> well, now, let me get some of these sesame let me give See you a things out. big old thing of Uncle Wang's. <laughs> All righty. I think this is going to be a little bit sloppy. I would have cooked this down just a wee bit more, I believe. But it's fine. It's certainly well done. <sighs> now, let me get you some beans. There. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Oh, you come on, Johnson. No, no. You can have the beans. All right. I don't care for it. Well, then I will. I love Doris, but I don't like beans. Well, it looks Ooh. good, and it's got all that. What kind of meat did you put in? You didn't sneak some of that venison in on me, did you? Look at her. I knew she, she was going to pull some. I'm she so knows glad I didn't. That I don't like venison, and she puts it in everything she can. Cause Harold has gone out and found another. Well, we don't want to talk about it on TV. <laughs> Poor Bambi. No, no, stop that. We'll get letters. We'll get letters. Mmm. Barbecue is good. Well, Uncle Wang's stuff is real good, too. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Mm, that's good. I like that. It's I think delicious. you've got a good Wang on that. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see what the barbecue is. Oh, Lord, you've gotten your tablecloth dirty. Mm. Mm, I like that, that barbecue. That, the cabbage is delicious, and the barbecue is just as good. I think that's a nice, simple recipe. Well, I've got to try the beans and venison. Because, <laughs> you know, Doris will never speak to us. She went to all this trouble, dragged it all the way down here from the lake. Oh, I bet no matter what we did, she'd talk to us. I think it's pretty good. Is it good? I think it's pretty good. I really don't like beans. That's my the only thing I have again. It. My beans don't like you. Well, I'm sure they don't. <laughs> Believe me. For beans. But anyway. Right. anyway. Well, we'll save these two for the staff. Yes. <laughs> the barbecue. Split that one time. Is delicious. Mm. This this whole meal is real good. The cabbage, and I think you could do a lot of oil, less oil, if you're real careful and don't let it burn. We yeah, but you would using, have to be careful. We sure. weren't using a. Uh, non-stick coating pan today, but you could get by with very little oil and you could leave the sesame oil out. The, the soy sauce, although you I, could use a light soy sauce. Although I will tell you, I adore soy. I'm the uh, soy the, oh, oil. Yeah. It is so good. Sesame, sesame oil. oil. <laughs> we'll get it right here. Yeah, we'll get it right here. Oh, I just hit one it's, of those golden. 
raisins. Uh, raisins and it really is a good flavor in mm -hmm. with everything else. It is. Well, Thanks. it is a great meal, I got to tell you. It really Thanks, is. everybody, and we'll see you around the gate post. Or somebody's gate post. I think we're going to have gate post installed. I'm not sure. But anyway, bye, everyone.